People ask actually very often, how come Laos want to develop only large hydropower projects and why not renewable energy like solar? Because we are a very hot, warm country, get plenty of sun. Actually, the Lao government a few years ago take this seriously. This is that's why we get assistance from many countries. I think the, the, the most important is assistance from Finland government, providing uh, the kind of drafting of the strategy on renewable energy for Laos. It is successful to complement the extension of it. It is an off-grid. It is good in the sense that in a remote area, small village, it's not possible, it's not feasible to bring, to extend the grid. Just too expensive, not worth doing it at all. So we have to provide the solar home system. And also, don't forget, it's fairly expensive. I think it ranged from 20 to 80 cents per kilowatt hours in terms of that. If you compare to the extended grid, the cost of Nam Turn 2 is 2 or 3 cents per kilowatt hours. So if you really wanted to use solar, you have to have a lot of money to subsidize these things. It's, uh, it's useful at uh, different conditions, but can it replace a large uh, hydropower projects? I doubt it very much. And if Laos want to use a lot of this solar, who will subsidize this? Where do we get the money to subsidize this? Will it help Laos to supply the, like our objective, to provide a reliable and affordable power to own sector. It's not possible with solar, not in the near future anyway. And even with such a warm climate in Laos, I doubt it very much that it will, will be practical or feasible in the near future.